How do you turn strength into athleticism? We're gonna show you how you can become more athletic inside of the weight room, and we're gonna start right now. One surefire way to train and enhance rate coding, which is a neurological aspect around becoming more athletic, is to use contrast methods. And I'm gonna show you one of my favorite contrast setups that you can use right now to improve that athleticism. So inside a garage strength program design, we know based off of how peak strength is laid out is that we're gonna do typically a technical coordination movement and then an absolute strength movement. And if we're doing contrast methods, we're gonna focus on neurological development here and we're gonna do a movement like this, okay? So we're gonna do a back squat, which would be our absolute strength movement. And to focus on neural drive, we just wanna do a set of two to three reps as explosive as possible. We don't wanna do sets of 10 to 12 where we're gonna be absolutely metabolically drained. So we're gonna here. Okay, so we hit a double. We rest for about 45 to 60 seconds. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna pair this with a depth drop into hurdle hops. This is going to force us to react much quicker and our body's going to be more aware of having a greater impulse expression. So your body notices mechanical tension. It notices ground reaction forces and it has to fire at those specific speeds to improve neural recruitment or to improve fiber recruitment. And if we can optimize that with our contrast methods, we can actually become more athletic and coordinate and communicate better with our specific muscles. So here we're gonna do a depth drop into hurdle hop, boom, boom, reacting as quickly as possible. And we're gonna do this, walk back, rest about two minutes. So we're gonna get five doubles in, rest 45 to 60 seconds, do that contrast with the hurdle hops off the depth drop five times through, but you go here, here, rest two minutes. Okay, back and forth five times. That's gonna stimulate big time growth. That's gonna stimulate that reactive ability. And you're gonna learn how to bridge that gap between traditional strength training and explosive base movements. And that will help your athleticism. We're gonna be giving away one free swall shirt to anybody who wants to be swole. All you have to do is one, comment down below. Two, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and you have all active channel notifications for Garage Strength. And three, show up to our Tuesday Public Live to find out if you won this swole shirt. Rate coding is the discharging of action potentials during a voluntary muscular action. And that's going to lead to greater motor unit recruitment. So greater motor unit recruitment of high threshold motor units if we want to become more athletic. And this can happen through fast actions. This can happen through lengthened actions. This can even happen through steady isometric actions and through fatiguing contractions. So we've got to think through that lens of understanding and comprehending this very, very complex thought. Think of rate coding like playing a video game. As you work through a position or a task inside a video game, you can smash the buttons you know, relatively fast, but not overly fast. But as that individual fatigues or takes on more damage, you have to go a little bit harder to get a better response. There's a spike in activity, a button press, that then comes from that motor units and helps the muscular fiber do their action. And the more times that you can get those motor units to spike, button mashing, the stronger and more force that muscle fiber will produce. You can think of rate coding essentially as muscle mashing. That's how I like to think about it. Or even as a springboard. A springboard, you start here, and then as you jump on that springboard or trampoline a little bit more, you can jump higher and higher and higher. And that's how we can produce more athleticism from strength. So if we can use exercises that will be higher speeds, it helps our body override systems so that we can recruit things in a semi-autonomous method. I'm gonna use jumping rope as an example here, okay? So as I'm doing this, I'm not really thinking like jump, 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 jump. I'm doing this in a semi-autonomous method. And that's why we use things like plyometrics and reflexive movements inside of the weight room. So now we're gonna provide you with a couple more examples of how you can improve your rate coding ability and become more athletic. Okay, so rate coding, muscle mashing, we've got to think through that lens when we're training with specific exercises. So the next movement is gonna be similar to the first one, but this is the GS contrast method, okay? The garage strength contrast method. And one thing that I really like to do when I'm developing neural intelligence in our athletes is use commands and use this unique method to improve coordination. If we improve coordination, then our athletes 
become more athletic. So we're gonna do a box squat with the command. Okay, so we're here. One, two, go. Okay. One, two. Let's pretend that double count was a command. Now, the garage strength contrast method that we use, that we created, absolute strength with a reflexive movement. These are exercises and exercise pairings that we use inside of our at peak strength. So when you see this next movement, you might see something like this in our app, which is going to help you, one, be stronger, and two, be more athletic. And that's how you attain that peak strength. So we're gonna get into the vertical axe chop. So we're gonna go here. And you wanna focus on dropping and getting a little elevation, catching and coming back up very, very quickly. So this is a movement that if you're a shot putter, fantastic. Offensive linemen, defensive linemen, linebackers, fantastic. Do both sides, five sets of five, but the big key factor is that we're hitting this with a command and you can change that up. You could go one, two, go. We could go four seconds on the box as long as we're holding that nice tension. One, two, three, four, go. And that's gonna force that neurological capability to think about being reactive. That's an intention. And then we're gonna rest 45 to 60 seconds and we're gonna do that reflexive movement that might have a unique carryover to your specific sport. So if you struggle with cutting here, if you're doing the vertical chop, you have to have that trunk control. You're here. Boom, come up. You have to have trunk control and be able to absorb that energy and rotate back up. Then we're gonna rest about two minutes. This is exactly what we're doing inside of Peak Strength with our 700 plus exercises. We've designed our programming around our research here for the last 15 years developing world-class athletes. Now, let's get to that next way that you can smash that button. So another way to enhance rate coding, we've seen research and we've even provided that research to you guys in our lives on Peak Strength and on this channel where we talk about velocity decrement. So oftentimes, if we want our athletes to be more athletic, one, we have to recruit high threshold motor units very, very well. Two, we have to have really good communication between our muscles that can help us recruit a little bit more effectively. We have to have good mobility. But now three, we have to optimize our locomotion. We've all seen those athletes that are very, very strong, but they can't run, they can't move well. They're not rapidly transporting themselves down the field. So they're not athletic. They're strong, but they're not athletic. So what we can do is use velocity decrement to our advantage. So this is going to be the locomotive version of the GS contrast method or the traditional contrast method. And remember back to when we presented these studies, we want to see no more than about 30% decrement in our time. So if we're running 20 meters, it takes us 10 seconds to get across the line, which would be absolutely horrific, but I'm very bad at math. In that case, we don't want it to get slower than 13 seconds, okay? So that would be the velocity decrement in that case. Now, I know Charlie Francis in the past, the coach of Ben Johnson has mentioned you should never have more than a 10% decrement, but science has since proven him wrong. He still was a fantastic coach. So what we would do is we could get into this position and we could do, let's say five to six sprints with about two minutes rest for recovery. And we would only see about 30% decrement over that specified distance. Here, come through, okay? Now, let's say in this position, I just ran five to six sprints. One sprint, but let's say five to six sprints with that assigned rest period. Rest about four to five minutes because we know in the acute setting, meaning this training session right now, the theoretical training session, if I can run with the best, at about a 30% decrement. Now, when I take that off, I will actually run faster in this session. And when we can actually imprint those high threshold motor units long-term, which means basically overriding the system, making it more semi-autonomous, making it fire consistently with those high threshold motor units, then we imprint that muscle mashing and that makes us more athletic. So now I'm here, I'm gonna try and demonstrate that I'm actually gonna be running faster than I otherwise would. That's the big factor here. Look at that deceleration ability from all my single leg squats. Pick up that single leg roller at GarageStrength.com. Now let's get to the next one. So another way to improve your rate coding ability can be seen through the lens of potentiation or using even crazy methods like post-Titanic potentiation. I've got a video 
from like 2009 of me doing eccentric hooks on an incline bench. And that's a great way to see potentiation that can lead to rate coding. And Christian Thibodeau talks about this pretty frequently. And I'm actually going to give you a specific rep scheme that you can use with absolute strength exercises to see this rate coding enhancement. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get on the bench and we're gonna do the one six method. Now, what we wanna see is that if we can start with 90% of a max, so if we're using 150 kilos, which we use for a videographer as the max, okay, we're gonna hit 90% for one rep. After we hit that single, we're gonna come back and we're gonna do six reps after about two minutes of rest, we're gonna do six reps at 78%. So that heavy single, now makes your body a little bit more aware, a little bit more heightened. It's like you had that nice jolt of coffee and you can hit six reps at 78%, which would be around like 115, 117 kilos. Then we'd come back and with that theoretical max of 150K, we'd hit 93% of our max for a single. So that would put us at 140 kilos. Okay, so we're starting to creep up that intensity, but our body's waking up. We're using rate coding to continuously recruit higher threshold motor units so that we can achieve greater force output. Now, after we hit that single at 140, 93%, we're gonna rest two to two and a half minutes. And we're gonna come back and we're gonna hit another set of six at 81%. And in this case, that set of six would be done around about 122 kilos, 121 and a half about. Then we're gonna come into one final single. That single will be done at 96%. And that would put us around 144 kilos. If you're more of a pounds person, just do the math based off the percentages. 96%, 144, that's gonna be a little bit more than 315. And then we're gonna come back. And the big goal here is this third set of six. We wanna hit a big PR set of six. That's where we're gonna see that imprint of high threshold motor units. That's where we're gonna see a nice improvement in our strength. And from that mechanical tension, also more hypertrophic gains. So that last set of six will be done at around 83% or higher. Okay, that's where I think you can get a little bit more dynamic and figure out, I feel stronger, I feel more explosive. If I could hit 84, 85% for a nice set of six, that's gonna demonstrate greater strength. And this would be done around 127, 127 and a half kilos. So around 280 pounds for a set of six. If you feel stronger on that last set, go a little bit heavier, but try to really push that big six rep max. And remember, this rate coding is similar to button mashing. The faster you can mash those buttons, the better you're gonna be as a player with that specific video game, in most cases. I'm just thinking back to Tech and Tag, back in my high school days. If you are better at rate coding, you will be more athletic. And that's why we use things like the velocity decrement and contrast training methods, garage strength contrast training methods. Using these things will help you become more athletic. That's exactly how we design Peak Strength. Head over to peakstrength.app, the Google Play Store, the Apple iOS Store. Download Peak Strength today for seven free days of training. You're gonna get five free workouts that's gonna help you attain that freak strength. Because remember, freaks. If you wanna become a champion, you've always gotta cultivate your power. Peace.